everyone and welcome to my channel my name is Angelina and today I'm going to be doing my March wrap up okay so March was sort of a meh month in my opinion um, I managed to read 17 books for 4,956 pages. And why I'm calling this sort of a meh month is just because, uh, well, I did have some five star reads. I feel like a lot of these books were sort of on the lower end of my rating scale. So I guess we'll talk about my rating stats now. So I did have two five stars, four four stars, and two three and a half stars. I had six three stars and then two two stars. So the majority of these books, while I read like a lot of four and five star reads, which is great, I feel like there was a lot of three stars and then more two stars than I would have liked. I wish I had just DNF those books, but it's fine. Okay, now let's talk about the books that I read in March. So I'm going to do this in the order that I read them. And a few of these books I did read during a sort of a weekly vlog that I did. So I will direct you all to that video when I get to those books, but I will have that link down in the descriptions and up in the cards so you can check out that video. Um, but yeah, let's just get straight into it. First book that I read was The Irregulars by Nadia Sayer. This is book two in this sort of dystopian series. I talk about this, the first in this series in my February wrap up. So I will also have that video linked down in the description and in the cards above if you want to hear more about it. But I gave this book two stars. I also gave the first book two stars. Um, the author did send me these books, which was very nice of her, but they really did not work for me. I just the writing style and sort of the pacing was very jumpy uh, and sort of was just hitting plot points along the way. And overall, I just didn't care about these characters. So it was not one for me. <laughs> and then I read Dino Stud by Lola Frost. I think that's the author. Um, this is the one that I gave three stars to. Um, and it is a weird sort of romance. Obviously you see the cover somewhere on the screen. Um, you see the title. It was, it was wild, but you know, it wasn't bad, honestly, which is why I gave it three stars. Um, yeah, so this follows our main character who loves dinosaurs. She's been studying them forever and we're sort of in this futuristic well, not really futuristic world, but like a world of ours where they end up bringing dinosaurs back to life, sort of like Jurassic Park. Um, but all of the dinosaurs are sort of like kept in these like lab facility type things. Um, and there's this one sort of secret dino park that has T-Rexes and stuff, which no other facility has because they're too dangerous. And this facility is sort of like kept under lock. It's not really talked about too much. Um, so she like sets off to go and find it. She ends up finding it and she sort of gets to, I think she was like volunteering or like interning or something there. And she ends up falling in love with the guy who runs it. Um, there are some twists that I'm sure you can guess, but I won't say what they are. Honestly, if this book had been longer, and had like gone more and like had more character depth to it this would have been like a really fun enjoyable book sort of like ice planet barbarians um but yeah i just i needed more from the characters it was it was very like insta love type thing and then when the twist did happen the book sort of just ends and you know i would i just wanted more from it but honestly, not bad. Then I read The Trees Grew Because I Bled There by Eric LaRocca, and I gave this one four stars. This is a short story anthology uh, type deal. Um, I love Eric LaRocca, so I was super excited to get an arc of this one, and I really enjoyed a lot of the stories that were in here. But of course, with like all anthologies, 
um, some you love and some you don't enjoy as much. But overall, this was like a really solid collection. Um, as with all Eric LaRocca books, uh, this is like weird horror. It really, really, really gets in there, you know? Um, I really enjoyed it, would highly recommend it. Then I read I Married a Dragon by Regine Abel, which I gave three stars. And after I finished this book, I came to a realization because I have been buying all of the ebooks in the series. And um, for some reason, I thought I had like loved every single book in the series, um, which isn't true. I've given every single one three stars, except for one of them, which I gave like a 4.5. Um, but yeah, anyways, for some reason, I thought like all of these books were like five stars. Um, so like I kept buying them and stuff. Anyways, that's not the point of this. Um, I did give this one three stars. Um, it follows our main character who works uh, with some like agency that like protects people of her world. And one day she's like in charge of like guarding this lab and then there's an outbreak of something. Um, like these creatures get loose and then this dragon has to come and sort of help and stop all these creatures and her and this dragon end up bonding uh, because the dragons in this world, they need like, they have like their soulmate type people who are the only ones who can like calm them down. Uh, it was like a really weird premise. Um, and yeah, so she had to go uh, to his little dragon world and then they end up falling in love. Um, yeah, I gave this one three stars. It was fine. I don't really remember too much about it, honestly, like my feelings on it. Um, but like, they're a fun time. I'm probably still going to read every book in this series. I already have the next one um, in this series. I don't remember what it's called. And then another one just came out, but I haven't bought it yet, but I'll probably read it. Um, yeah, I don't have much to say on this one. And then I read Servant Mage by Kate Elliott. This is one that was in that weekly vlog. Um, I gave it 30 stars, but I will leave it at that. And then I read I Must Betray You by Rita Septis. I gave this one five stars, and this one was also in that weekly vlog. And then I read Maybe Next Time by Christina C. Jones, which I gave three stars, also in that vlog. Next, I read A Caribbean Heiress in Paris by Adriana Herrera, which I gave a three and a half star rating. Um, again, in that vlog. Okay, there are only two more that I believe were in that vlog. Um, so I'll just go through those real quick. So I have The Moth Keepers by K.O. O'Neill, which I gave four stars, and volume one of Given, which I also gave four stars. So all of those books are in that weekly reading vlog if you want to hear more of my thoughts about them. All right, then I read Shadow and Bone uh, by Lee Bardugo, which I gave three stars. This is my first time reading Shadow and Bone. Um, I have watched the Netflix series on it. Um, I really like season one. I really did not like season two, but that's neither here nor there. So I did uh, decide to pick up these books because my friend really enjoys these books and says that they're a lot better than the show. Um, yeah, I found the book to be fine. Uh, I think you can definitely tell that it was written in 2012. Um, yeah, I don't really have too much to say. Uh, it just kind of just gives me basic YA fantasy vibes, which again is very reminiscent of the 2012 era that it came out in. Um, so yeah, I'm not mad that I read it. Uh, and I am currently reading the third book in the series. So, you know. Then I read Against the Current by Olivia Matthews. I gave this one a 3.5. Um, this is a cozy mystery, which is out of my usual genre, and it follows this woman who owns this bakery. She is finally opening it up uh, with her family, um, and this is like her big dream, and they're sort of a rival company, and this dude, um, who like came into her bakery and is mad that she decided to open her bakery where she did, and they sort of get into an argument uh, in front of a whole bunch of people 
and the next day this dude ends up dead. So obviously our main character is the prime suspect and she is going out and she is trying to figure out who the real killer is. And this was, this was fun. Um, I really liked our main character uh, and some of like our side characters, but you know, the mystery itself, you know, I didn't guess who the killer was. Uh, but it wasn't, it also wasn't like very shocking, I guess you could say. Uh, but yeah, a very solid book that I would recommend. All right, and then I read You Deserve Each Other by Sarah Hogel, and I have read another book by this author before, and I think I gave it four stars. So I went into this book expecting to enjoy it, but I was not expecting to absolutely love this book as much as I ended up loving it. So this follows our two main characters who got engaged very early on in their relationship, sort of when they were in their phase of their relationship where they were like still sort of pretending to be the best versions of themselves. And why they and while they are trying to like plan out their wedding, um, they end up realizing that they can't stand each other but the weddings has a non-refundable bill. So neither of these two characters wants to call off the wedding. And so it's sort of like this unspoken thing that whoever calls off the wedding has to pay for this bill. And so these characters end up like pulling pranks on each other, sort of just being like terrible, like partners to each other. And it's just really funny um, seeing them interact and stuff. And then slowly they end up falling back in love. And it's just, it was so adorable. I feel like this book is like the epitome of a rom-com, like both like a romance and a comedy because I laughed so many times while reading this book. Uh, I just, I loved it so, so much. Uh, it made me so happy reading it. And yeah, I would, I would highly recommend this one. It was so good. And then I read Too Wrong to Be Right by Melanie Johnson and I gave this one four stars. This is another romance book that has like a really cute premise to it. So our two main characters, um, one of them is a florist and the other uh, runs a funeral home with his family. And when she is going to deliver flowers to him, they sort of have this meet cute and it's sort of this like, friends to lovers type story. It gets a little messy in there because she is always getting into relationships with the wrong type of guy. So she ends up going after our love interest brother. Um, and that's like who she believes she should be dating. Although she does have feelings for the love interest the entire time. Um, yeah, this one, it was amazing. Um, she also has a pet hedgehog and he has a cockatoo and there's just so much like pet references and stuff and it's it's just really cute i really enjoy reading this and yeah this is another one that i would really recommend okay and then um <laughs> i read wet hot allosaurus summer by lola frost this is the same person who wrote dino stud and you know when i had read dino stud i was like this book it has promise. I can see this being a really a great book, you know? Weird, sure, but a good kind of weird. Um, Wet Hot Allosaurus Summer is, is not. And I would have given this one star, but I feel like the author really uh, mastered what she like had intended to do with this book. And that is just to write an absolute bonkers book. Uh, so in this book, uh, we're in this world where dinosaurs are sort of like people. They, when they are born, they get like these like voice box type things so they can communicate and they work like humans do. And yeah, uh, our main character, she is sort of working on this farm with her family and she loves seeing the dinosaurs work at night. So uh, after she's done working, she'll like sit there and like draw them and stuff. And then one day this dinosaur comes up to her and they sort of have a moment. Uh, and then her dad like gets all mad and stuff. And so they end up running off together, her and this dinosaur stranger that she just met. 
And, you know, it, it gets weirder and weirder. There's sort of like this cult element and then, I, I don't even know. I think I just sat there like in shock the entire time I was reading it. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't even know what this book is. If you want to read something uh, just for like the shits and giggles of it, pick up this book because it was it was something um and it does have a long list of trigger warnings in the beginning of this book which i really enjoyed um obviously there's very high sexual content in this book but there's also a lot of um gore of violence guns uh like uh sexual harassment uh a lot of a lot of things um yeah definitely check out the trigger warnings before reading this but i don't i don't really know if i can say i recommend it uh it was it was a time it was a time and then after that time of a read i read to love and to loathe by martha waters this is a historical romance that i gave three stars and it follows our main character and she ends up she doesn't have a lot of money, but she's pretty, so she gets married early on uh, just for the money. And then uh, he, the person she's married to ends up dying because he's like really old. And she's like having the time of her life now because uh, she's a widow in this sort of like historical time. So she has a lot more freedom to do what she wants and she has money to do what she wants. Um, but then sort of her brother's best friend uh, ends up like asking her for a favor and that favor is uh, sort of to sleep with him because uh, his former lover uh, they end up getting into a fight and she said that he wasn't good in bed so his feelings are all hurt and he wants our main character to tell him if it's true or not uh, so they end up getting into sort of this whole thing and then they end up falling for each other obviously there's some other complications along the way but i really enjoyed this um not so much the romance but the plot of the book in general um the characters the side characters i really liked all that the romance was sort of all right for me um but yeah I think this was a solid book. All right, and the last book that I read in the month of March is How to Fake It in Hollywood by Ava Wilder, which I ended up giving two stars, sadly. So this book, both of our main characters are like big Hollywood actors, actresses, um, but our female main character, she is sort of only known for like this one role in this very popular show that has been running for many seasons but it has ended and she can't really uh find good work anywhere else and our male main character he is sort of like a super big uh actor um but he ends up getting into a divorce and sort of this accident that happened and now he doesn't act at all he sort of just drinks his life away um, and their agents end up forcing them, or not really forcing them, but uh, asking them sort of to fake date to help both of their reputations um, and to sort of get their names back out there. And yeah, that's, that's the premise of this book. Um, I didn't really care for either of our characters, really. Um, I definitely did not like our male main character. Well, I think, was his name Ethan? I don't actually remember his name. Either way, he was not like a good person for like all of this book. And then when the ending came, there's sort of this big third act breakup and a lot of time passes before it's resolved. And then the book kind of just ends. And I did not like that. I felt like I needed more of them actually being decent human beings with each other. Uh, 
and having this like really good uh, non-toxic relationship because that's kind of what their relationship was for most of this book, uh, toxic. Um, also fake, but you know, there was also sort of um, an instance where uh, our female main character, she ends up getting photographed uh, naked and you know, it's a big deal for her, but like within the book, it sort of just like brushed over and it was, it was sort of odd how that worked out, but you know, I would have liked more time spent on all these like sort of side plots that happened, I guess. Uh, so yeah, this one just really didn't work for me. Uh, and yeah, that wraps up all the books that I ended up reading in March. Um, so there were some really good books, some not so good books, some really weird books that I ended up reading. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment about whatever you feel like commenting. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!